All right, guys, we're here today to show you uh, the process of, of building construction 1116, which is this little utility stool. Uh, it's made out of three quarter inch plot construction grade plywood. It's a, probably the easiest project that you'll build at the grade 10 level. Um, and I'll take you through all the steps on that. We'll start by building the sides, then we'll look at the rails and the two bottom pieces. And there's a third rail back here as well. Then we'll go to figuring out the steps, assembly, and then maybe even a little bit on how to get it marked. So when we start this project, you would have done some preliminary drafting on drafting these sides. Uh, you will do that on a drafting plate, an eight and a half by 11 drafting plate, and then you'll actually end up cutting the piece of wood and doing your drawing full scale on the piece of wood. So the piece of wood, I cut, I, what I do is I pre-cut material and I cut it a little over width for you so that we have less wastage, basically. So when I tell you in the booklet to find a particular piece of wood, um, I'll show you where that is right away. You want to find that width um, and then make the pieces from that. And that will, uh, that will just limit our wastage and keep costs down. All right, so we'll go over, we'll grab a piece of material for the sides and we'll show you how to get that all laid out and we'll start cutting it. All right, so, so it's in the corner of the shop here. So for Construction 1160, I've pre-cut the material. It's over basically in this corner. And this is a three quarter inch construction grade plywood. You can see there are different widths and different lengths. What's important to you is finding the proper width. So we need to build a side that's 40 by 40 centimeters. So you can measure things, but you'll be able to estimate. Like that's only 26 centimeters. That's obviously not a wide enough piece. So sometimes you have to dig around and that looks like the right size. Yeah, so that's 41 centimeters. So it's oversized width wise by one centimeter. It's three quarter inch thick construction grade plywood. And the way you can tell the difference between this stuff and this stuff is you'll notice that there are it's a different color, there are lots of knots in this, it's a lot more rough. So don't use this material back here, this pink stuff. This is much more expensive than this. So we use this for the utility store. So let's take this piece over, we'll get it laid out, and we'll get cutting. All right, so to get started on this, make sure you gather, you know, you're gonna need a square, maybe a variety of squares, a miter square, 12 inch ruler, 24 inch ruler, and it's not a bad idea to have a 36 inch ruler on hand as well, and perhaps a framing square or a small framing square, and a tape measure. So, all we're gonna do initially on this piece of wood is we know the width is too wide, and that's good. Now we're just gonna determine the length. All right, so we wanna cut this to 40 centimeters, so we'll just make a small line there, and put an X on the waist side. We don't care how long this piece is on this side. This is the piece we're gonna to use to make out of, or make the side out of. Okay, so we've marked that. I'm gonna show you two different ways to cut this. The first one's gonna be a plunge cut on the miter saw. There's no need to draw a long line there. It's actually more accurate doing a small line with an X on the side. Now, we, when you initially look at this, you think, well, that saw is not gonna be able to cut that width of wood. Well. That's why we're gonna show you this plunge cut. It's not the most accurate cut, but it's good enough for this project. So take your saw, line up, oh, I put that perfect. Line up the edge of the, the saw with your line, just like so. You don't wanna be on this side or else you're going to, going to cut uh, your piece three millimeters too short. So put the edge of the blade right there, just like so. Okay, then you're gonna lift that saw up, pull it all the way out, and then just go in a few centimeters. Turn it on, plunge in, all the way down till it stops. All the way back. Now, we haven't been able to cut this piece, so all we're going to do is take it, flip it over. This is called the saw kerf. We're going to get the blade right into the saw kerf. 
So just wiggle your piece back and forth until you get it right in there, like that. Make sure that you've pushed the wood back tight against the fence. Left hand over here, start your saw up again. All the way back and that is cut to length to our 40 centimeters now I'll show you one other way that we can do this we'll just take this scrap piece over and I'll show you on the table saw using the crosscut sled how to do this same cut but with a different tool so that same plunge cut we can use uh, the crosscut sled to do the same thing if we choose and it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with, they both do the job. So we still need to cut this one to 40 centimeters in length. So we want to set or put our mark on the edge of the material. It makes it a lot easier to line up. So we want to mark 40 centimeters right there. Take our tape off, put that line all the way across. Use a square if you need to. Put an X on the waist side. Now we're going to be able to line this line up perfectly with our table saw blade. So take your piece, get it tight up against the fence, and then move it over and line it up. You have to do this by eye. All right, so look through the plexiglass, get your line lined up nicely, just like so. Pull it back just a little bit so that when you start, the blade is not touching the piece of wood. And I'm gonna raise that blade up just a little bit. It's a little bit low. There we go. Come back a little bit more. So right hand at the back, left hand up here. The left hand is holding the piece of material tight against the fence, and the right hand is pushing the piece of material through and the cross cut slip. So we turn it on. Right hand, left hand. And just cut through until we separate. Wait for everything to stop. Once it's stopped, you can move the crosscut sled and we can pull our piece out of there. So now we've cut this to exactly 40 centimeters. So we've got our length established, but now we still have to do our width because we have 41 centimeters. Okay, so again, we can do this. I'll show you two ways to do this. We can do it on the crosscut sled. So I'll show you that one since we're right here. Again, so mark it at 40 centimeters, right there. Continue that line down so you can line it up nicely. Put your X on the waist side, and I'm a real stickler for the X. Um, you need to do that, that's an industry standard, and it'll prevent you making a whole bunch of mistakes, believe it or not. So kind of like the previous cut, we are going to line it up. Make sure we're tight against the fence, turn it on, right hand, left hand, so there is our 40 long by 40 wide piece of material, okay? Now I'll show you another way to cut the width with this, this other side right here. And we'll come over to the rip saw and we'll just set your fence to exactly 40 centimeters. So you bring your fence over, get that red line right at 40 centimeters, clamp that down, make sure your fence is tight. Now we'll set our blade height. So that's a little bit low, not too bad, but we'll bring it up just a bit. There we go. Drop this down. Make sure your anti-kickback is in place. Now, when you're cutting this one, it's just like cutting any piece. Left hand, so your fingers down on the table saw. Your fingers are pushing material towards the fence. Your thumb is holding it down. Your right hand is going to go, you're going to try and push with this part of your hand, okay, kind of the chubbier part of your hand, okay. You don't want to push just with a finger, you don't want to push like this, this is how you cut the end of your thumb off, you want to prevent that. So you just hold it like so, okay, or you can put your thumb underneath and then 
just lift your thumb up when you get to the saw itself. So we'll turn it on, the left hand, and it stays right here, it doesn't move. Pressure that way, your thumb is holding it down so this doesn't happen. Right hand back here, take it, watch the fence, keep it tight against the fence. Now you want to make sure that you push the piece of wood so that the end of the piece of wood gets past this little bump here on the table saw. And then you're good. You can let it go. Wait for it to stop before you put your hands in there to retrieve your piece and get rid of the scrap. There we go. So now we have our two pieces cut to 40 by 40 and we're ready to start laying out. All right, so now we have our two 40 by 40 pieces. There's our 40 centimeter width and going with the grain is our length and so that is 40 centimeters as well. We'll just double check on this one. There's our 40 centimeter width and our 40 centimeter length. So now we're ready to do the drawing on here to get you ready for your pattern. Okay, it's time to start the layout for the side. So you want it, the easiest way to do this is to start at the bottom and work your way up. So using our drawing, using our drawing tells us that down here we want to go 6.7 centimeters over. So come right here and at 6.7 make a little tick right there. Then at the other end do the same thing at 6.7 Make a tick right on the edge, just like so. Then take your 45 degree or miter square and draw your line up. I'm using felt pen just so it's easier for you guys to see on the video. And we'll do our 45 over here, like so. Then it is 5.2 centimeters tall. So that's straight up. So measure. 5.2 centimeters, make a little tick, 5.2 centimeters over here, make a little tick, continue those, or make a continuous line from your 45 degrees to your 45 degrees. So that's the bottom notch. Now let's go up and we'll do where the lower step is going to be. So it is 19.5 centimeters. So again, measure 19.5, make a little tick. Now, don't make a tick over here. Just use your square, that's what squares are for. Put the reference foot tight against your edge, slide the blade up to your tick, and make that line. Now that line's gonna be too short initially because the square's not long enough and it's got to be 21 centimeters. So we'll line our ruler up 21 centimeters. I like to do it nice and parallel with the line I've already drawn and continue that line along. There's our 20 centimeter, 21 centimeter line and that's where our lower step will go. Now I actually want to come up to the top left corner and I want to mark this the angle for the front edge. So we come over 2.5 centimeters. So up at the top, make a tick at 2.5. Then take your square and you want to come down six centimeters. And I won't measure it yet, I'm going to estimate it. So that's probably about six centimeters right there. Measure it, it's a little short a little longer. And there's my six centimeters right there, so I make my intersecting line right there. That's six centimeters. Then from that intersecting line at six centimeters, I'm going to come right down to the end or to the bottom corner of the side. So all you're going to do, line your ruler up with this corner at the bottom. Slide it over to your intersecting line at six centimeters and draw your line. Like that. So that's the front edge. Now we want to determine 
where the back part is going to be, and it's 21.1 centimeters from the very front edge, not from the cut front edge, but from the very front edge. So we'll measure over 21.1. So there's 21.1 right there. Again, it's straight at the beginning. It comes down st straight at 90 degrees for six centimeters. So again, just like we did on the other portion over here, estimate your six centimeter line. Make an intersecting line at six centimeters, like so. Then connect your end of your step line up to your intersecting line and draw that in. So that is your layout, okay, directly from the drawing, it's just full scale. And that's going to be your side, just like so. All right, so let's uh, go over to the bandsaw and we'll cut this. So we're going to cut this now. Usually I don't have you cut on the line, I have you cut to the waist side, but in this case we'll cut right on the line. Um, I will set the guard first. I want to be, you know, probably about uh, two or three millimeters above my material. So we loosen this off up here, the lock, and we lower that down to about there, about the thickness of a coin. Now, there's a particular sequence that I want you to go through and it'll make life easier for you. So I'll number them off. So the first part I want you to cut, I want you to cut along this line here. So this would be number one. So you go in this direction. When you get to the end here, you stop. Then what we're going to do is we want a nice crisp line here. So we can't cut this crisp corner um, with the bandsaw. Uh, if we do it continuous. So what we have to do, we have to do it in two cuts. So we're going to extend that angled line up to there. Then we're going to cut all the way down to this corner and this will be our second cut and then all of this stuff will fall off. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to cut our six centimeter line and that's going to be our third cut. All right, so we'll start with that. So start your saw. Get lined up so that your line and your blade and your eye are all lined up, but not your fingers. Keep your fingers to either side. And then slowly cut. This is for your steps, so you want to be nice and accurate. It's better to go slow and accurate than fast and inaccurate. Get right there, right to our other line, and we stop. Shut the blade off, or shut the saw off. Wait for the blade to stop. We don't want to back out of this cut because we end up uh, taking the blade out of alignment. So we wait for the blade to stop. And once it's stopped, we take our piece out, like so. And now we're going to cut number two. So again, it's just a straight cut. And make sure you draw on here so that you've extended your lines. So you have a path to follow. Now we've gotten rid of that. So that's our second cut. Now our third cut is just our short six centimeter long piece. And that's all there is on that one. So that's where our step is going to go. I call that the run and this the rise. Okay, so now I'll show you the sequence of events to cut out the notch. So it's fairly simple. We'll be able to cut this out in four cuts. All right, so cut number one, we're just gonna cut up here and we're, we're going to stop, but we can back out of this cut. So number one is right here, then come over here, do number two uh, along this line. Then number three is going to be a long, gentle arc starting at the start of number one and draw yourself a nice line all the way up to this top line and we're going to blend this curve into this straight line. So this is going to be number three. 
going to go in that direction. And then you'll see we'll do number four back along this line in that direction. I know it gets a little jumbled there, so just watch the process here on the bandsaw. And this system works really well, so we'll be able to cut this notch out in four cuts. Well, again, get lined up nice so that your line is in line with the blade and your eye is in line with both of them. Cut nice and slow, you want a nice notch. Get right up to this transition and stop there. But you don't have to stop the saw, so you can just pull it out nice and carefully. Now we'll go, we'll do number two over here. Like so, carefully back it out. Now, number three, start right at number one, and then just start gradually making curves. You don't have to stay right on your line, but you want to be gradual and pretty close to your line. And that's your path to follow. And we're getting closer to our line. And now we want to follow along our line. And this will disconnect right away. Oh, missed it by a little bit. Pull that out of there, there we go. So we did number one, number two down here, number three along here, nice and gradual. So all that's falling out. Now we're going to rotate it, and we're going to run into a, a little problem, potentially. Yes, we are going to run into a problem. If you look over here, you can see that the, our side is running into the side of the saw. So I'll show you how we correct that. You're going to want to flip your piece over. Put it like so. We have our cut number two, or number one. Our cut number two is over here. All you're going to do now is take a ruler, go from the top of this cut over to the top of this cut. Draw a line so you have something to follow, like so. And now we'll cut with this side up and we'll be able to rotate the piece like so, so that this end doesn't run in to our beam here. So, we start it up, and now this is cut number four. And there you have your notch. I might trim it a little bit, I'm a little off my line here, so I'll go back. However, I won't be able to see this side, but I can still take a little bit more off right here. So we'll try and get that a little closer. So I was cutting right on my line, so I could be cutting directly on it. And just notch that little bit out. See how that looks? There, that's better. Okay, so that is our notch. So we did cut one, cut two, cut three was the long gradual line, and always draw a line so you have a path to follow. We went all the way down to here with number three, and then we transferred our line over to the back side, and we did number four along like so. So that's the notch. Now we'll do the front edge and you're going to see the same practice of transferring a line uh, in a moment here. So now we're going to cut our, our six centimeter line. Okay, so that's going to be number one. And we're going to stop right there at our intersecting line. So it's going to look like this. This is kind of a two, two step process. So we just cut along there, down to our intersecting line. go. Now we're going to run into that same problem that we ran into on the notch. If I go to cut this, I'm going to run into the beam here. We have to go through that process of transferring the line to the back side. So go from the bottom of this cut 
down to this far corner. Hold your ruler in place. There we go. So, this will be our last cut. So now you can see that the bulk of the material is out to the right. It's not going to run into the beam. And, got a nice straight line here. Again, remember to go slow. It's more important to be accurate than fast. Speed will come later. And once it disconnect right away, right there. And there we have our side cut out. Now we would do this process twice because we need two sides. So I'll just take you through one. So you need to do this whole process again. So you will go back to your 40 by 40 piece. Maybe it's already laid out. If it is, just come over to the bandsaw. Mark the numbers of which you're doing first. So cut number one, cut number two, cut number three, and that's that section. Then we come down to the notch, cut number one, cut number two. The long arc is cut number three, cut number four. And then that's the notch finished. Then we come over here and we cut number one just down to your intersecting line. Then we transfer our long mark onto the back and we cut this line number two. And then that's your side, all there is to it. So now we'll get started on the rails and the bottom and the front and the, the back and the, and the front. All right, so now we're gonna do our three rails, uh, one bottom back and one bottom front. Okay, so there are going to be three of the rails. Okay, one, two, three in here. Going to have one bottom back, and we're going to have one bottom front. So we're going to select this material uh, from our plywood, uh, our three-quarter inch plywood that I showed you earlier. So let's go over there and we'll grab the proper material. All right, so the first uh, pieces that you need or piece that you need you're gonna need and it says in the book you need a piece 16 to 17 centimeters wide okay and that should be over here if there's none over here come and see me and I'll cut you some so measure these um, not that one. Oh, maybe it's this one right here take a look there we go, 17 centimeters wide. That's the piece we need uh, right now. So let's just take that one and we'll go prepare it. Okay, so now we wanna make our bottom back. So use a ruler for this, it'll be much more accurate. So we wanna cut this at 40, what does it say here? 40.7 centimeters. So there's 40, 40.5, 40.6, 40.7. Make our line. Make a thin line, I'm just doing it dark so you can see it uh, easier on the video. So there's our 40.7. Now we'll take it over to the miter saw and we will cut that. All right, we're back at the miter saw. So now make sure your piece is tight up against the fence. Okay, you don't want it angled like that. That's not gonna give you a good cut and it's gonna be dangerous. So tight against the fence. Then line up on the, your blade to your line. Make sure your blade is on the X side not on this side or it'll be three millimeters too small. Okay, and it's not like I let you cut another piece. Okay, so I've got it lined up. Pull the saw, so basically that the bottom teeth, when they come down, will be in front of your front edge. So start it there. All the way down. All the way back. Wait for it to stop, lift it up, and that's the start of our uh, bottom uh, back. All right, so now we have to find a piece that's 20 to 21 centimeters wide. So let's take a look here. This is 26.5, so that's not it. What's this one? No, 17.5. This one, 21, that's what we're looking for. And while we're here, we're gonna need rails, so there should be a bunch of six centimeter or a little better. No, that one's under. How about this guy? Should be something about between six and seven centimeters, so this will work for us. 
All right, so let's get this back to the bench and we'll lay it out and we'll cut it. All right, so we've got the material for our bottom front. So we'll mark it to length, and again, it's going to be 40.7. So 40.567 right there. Make a line, put your X on the waist side. Since we're here, we'll mark out for our rails because we might as well cut them all at the same time. Measure this one, 40.7, right there. That's all we have to do. Don't mark another 40.7 here. Okay, that's called stacking, and this one will end up three centimeters too short. If you do it again, this third one will end up six centimeter or six millimeters too short. Okay, so let's go to the miter saw and we'll cut these. All right, so back to the miter saw. Make sure your piece is tight against the fence. Line up this edge of the blade to your line so that your blade is taking off your waist side, the part you don't care how long it is. So we've got it lined up. Left hand over here, so it's pushing down and against the fence. Get the bottom of your blade just past the front edge of your material. That's that one. So we've got there. This one we won't need. And now let's cut the rail. So, again, now I'm actually going to put this edge of the blade, the far edge, against my line. So tight against the fence. When you're doing this, I just get down, pull that up a little bit so I can see. Get it lined up nice, which it is. Keep your, your material pressed down against your table and tight against your fence. So it's off. There we go. And we'll do this three times over.